Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and welcome to Absconded version 66. Now, if you guys have seen me play Absconded before, you know that this is a procedurally generated or roguelike kind of Minecraft map. DesiTM, the creator of the map, keeps adding new things. So every time I've recorded this vi uh, a, a video of this game, I'm actually recording a video of a different kind of version of the game, or, or uh, edition. Now, in this kind of updated one, one of the first things he changed was he went ahead and he made the first level a little bit safer. Now, he added a whole difficulty ramp, though. So what that's going to mean is that the later levels are actually going to be far more difficult. Now, why am I grabbing these note blocks and chests? Well, it turns out one of the things he also added is bats that eat stone. So let's say that you're walking on stone and then you realize you would like to have a block below you. Well, you can put a note block below you, hopefully before you fall to your death, and then not die. Now, the objective of this game is to find a room with a red exit uh, sign and to escape. So, unfortunately, uh, some of the rooms are a little bit dark. So I'm going to steal some of these lights as I go, so I have them for later. And, oh, hey, any, hey, I have, ooh, sticky bombs, excellent. Once I get enough wood, I can make an axe, and then I'll be able to break some of this stuff faster. I believe this is the outer wall here. Right now, I don't have a ton of wood, so I probably don't want to waste my pickaxe too much. But I do have to be sure that I'm actually getting through every room. Because if you don't look at every room, then you will miss, uh, you know, chests or the exit. The exit's a lot more important than chests. Uh, however, it's safer to explore in the earlier levels than the later levels, because the odds of getting a wither skull or something crazy attacking you are far lower. Let's go ahead and see if this is a safe place to descend. It does appear to be. So, if I hold down my crouch button here, boom, that trapdoor takes me right downstairs. And I'm glad I did not use my trapdoor right there, because, as you can see, whoops, there is a blaze there. Blazes are dangerous. If you need a, a, a mnemonic to remind you how uh, dangerous they are, um, B is for blaze, which is very, very bad. So, I see that red wool and that sign. That's the exit. So I need to get across here and around. Now, there's a few ways I could do that. One is I could use these trap doors to ascend a level and then descend again. But that doesn't leave me the opportunity to explore these rooms and check for chests. Although it does decrease the odds of me running into crazy stuff along the way. Now, being the first level, the odds of running into a witch or a wither skull or something like that are lower than they will be later. So I kind of want to grab all the loot I can now while it's still relatively safe since i haven't cleared this entire floor and there's a lot of doors open it's actually kind of i want to stay back in this corner so i'll see stuff coming one of the changes since the first time that desi made uh, a, a version of this that i played is that there's a lot more naturally occurring doors as well and those naturally occurring doors are dangerous d for door d for dangerous because the these things they come through them oh i should have said they come through them that's another mnemonic B is for very, very bad blazes. D is for doors that those dudes come through. So, anyway, we have successfully circumnavigated this entire space. Hey, a chest. Chicken and milk. These are both incredibly helpful things. I want to... Wow. I've actually got more stuff than I normally would by this point. So we're, we'll hold on to this milk in case we run into a witch or a wither. And as you can see, we have incremented our best marker here. Now this is my... F Whoa. Can I, can I right-click on the sign without hit, hitting that guy? Dang it. He's right there. Oh no, and the bat is... Oh no, there's a bat right there who's going to get rid of the floor. Dang it, okay. So this is all sorts of bad. Dang it, there's... I need to knock that guy off the top of there. The best way to do that... Is probably first thing we want to do is get get on a block that the bat cannot eat. The bat cannot eat that block. So second, we're gonna stand up here to try and attract the attention of that guy and then knock him into that pit. Enjoy your pit. No, no, do not hit me. I've got the milk ready, so I'm not in big trouble if he does. Oh, hey, there's the bat. As you can see, the bat there is actually eroding the ground underneath us. That bat will eat stone. So we click on this for our exit. 
And every time you start in a new room, there's a chance that a monster will start with you. So you got to be very quick to scan the room. So if it seems like I, I get kind of jumpy every time I get to another level, that's why. That's actually the most dangerous kind of point in the whole thing. And I don't have enough wood to actually start making it safer yet. A few things that I could do. Uh-oh. There's already been a bat here. That is not good. I should probably find out if there is a floor below us here. Real quick. One thing that helps. Now, in a... Uh-oh. So there's no floor below us, and there's a bat running around. There's Okay, so this is a single floor fortress. Every building is going to have different dimensions, depending on kind of the procedural generation. So let's stand right here in case the bat tries to get us. Ooh, this is a really narrow, really short building. I'm terrified that there's going to be something in here. Sometimes witches and stuff hide. Anybody? Okay. Kind of mostly standing on top of these because I don't want to risk a bat jumping down on us. Let's go ahead and switch this out. I hear a slime somewhere too. Okay, let's run to the next one. Now, if something really crazy happens while I'm standing on this teleporter, I can... Oh, see, I see a guy with a sword. Okay, so we got a wither there. We got a blaze in the other room. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and pop this in here like so. Let's get rid of this wood. We'll use note blocks for now for any temporary standing. Okay, and there we go. There's our exit. And we are in a room where there might be stuff spawning any second because there's a lot of doors. So let's go ahead and just jump up. And quickly scan around. Okay, so there's another room on that side. And that's a outer wall. Okay, so knowing that this on our left is the outer wall, we're going to sweep left, then forward, then around. If we run into a wither, I'm actually probably better off putting blocks down than trying to face him. If I can block him in a doorway. Huh. Okay, well let's go ahead and block these off so we can... Get whatever's in here. Oh, dang it, chest. Extra helmet, extra sword. Chicken. Okay, great. Oh, I should probably check also, real quick, how high this building is. Oh, there's a bat here already. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that bat is active. That is an active bat. Okay, so is there a floor below me? I need to find that out real quick if there's a bat in play. Okay, there's at least one floor below me. I'm going to pop this down here. Okay, definitely at least one. And there... Wait, what? There's bars on that door. So that might be dangerous. Okay. Well, if that bat lets a, a, a ghast... Or not a ghast, a blaze out. That's a separate trouble. This is a really narrow building. We need to figure out how tall it is. So let's stand on here, so just in case. So there's the bat. There's definitely a floor above us. Okay. Dang it. Stupidly dangerous to determine if there's something safe above you. Like, I hear a zombie. Hmm. Yep, there's a zombie there. Okay, so this room definitely does not seem to have the exit in it, though. Let's go ahead and try and look down here. Okay, we definitely have waterfall in there. That's definitely not the exit. This is a safe place. Um, the, the bat will not eat the wool. So, is... dang it. Is this room? Nope, not it. And finally... This one over here. Whoa. Okay, that bat has eaten several floors up. So, if I actually jump on this, that'll teleport me up one. E Whoa. If I crouch, it'll send me down, and that almost could have killed me right there. Okay, so never crouch on something like that unless you absolutely are certain you want to go down. That was abysmally terrifying. If that chest had not been there... Well, I probably would have been okay. Well, if there had been another trap door, it would have been my death. So, maybe not. 
Okay, so we're going to go check this out. Looks like the water coming through here probably just killed that blaze outright. So we're probably safe on that front. Is there anybody in there? It's hard to tell. Let's go ahead and light it up. Sometimes those wither skeletons, they can just hide in darkness so proficiently. It uh, can be quite the terror. Okay, well, I'm going to put this... Why can't I put that there? Okay, well, this is bad news. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this here. Dang it. Put that there and jump up. Dang it. Okay, apparently you cannot use the teleporter to jump upward if there is a, what do you call it, web in your way. Good to know. How do you break webs? Okay, swords. You can get string from the webs. I can use those to make wool, I guess? I'm not sure if that's useful somehow. Okay, so that took me all the way up here. That's interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead. We I haven't seen the bats for a while, so we might be relatively safe. I'm going to go ahead and try to poke my head up here. Hopefully not have... Oh, uh, there's definitely a zombie arm there. Okay. So if we knock that there, is he going to fall down? No. If I knock there, will he fall down? No. If I knock right here, will he fall down? Dang it. It's like directly above me, of course. Dang it. Okay, so let's see. Thinking about this logically. I have no way of knowing what's... Have I been to this floor? Yeah, let's go ahead and just punch holes in these walls real quick. Whoa. And that is how... I, I realize I lean on the shift button a lot more than I probably should. So there's that zombie that we were worried about. He's just hanging out right there. There's no good way for me to bop him off the side. Or out the uh, window there, is there? No, I can't get him with the sword or anything. Although, if I hit here... There we go. Okay, one zombie down. And let's make this last step something that won't, won't be eaten by bats. Hmm... Not too much going on on this floor, is there? Hey, some sand blocks. At least we can use those for protection. Are there any creatures in here that want to kill me? And is that the upper, like, is that the outer roof there? Yeah, okay, so we're on the top floor. It's kind of surprising to me that we have not stumbled onto the treasure room yet. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Dang it. And let's quickly open these. Okay, so we got some chicken. And an empty chest. And more milk and armor. Okay. So as far as runs go, this is a pretty good looting run so far. There's a zombie in that one. In terms of my success in finding the exit, though, I'm thinking this floor must be where the exit is. Because I've cleared so many others. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just put this here. I haven't seen the bats for a while, but, you know, sometimes they fly out and back into the buildings. Can he climb up to me? Yeah, he can. Dang it. Of course there's a step there. Dang it. Oh, there is another floor below us. Hmm. Okay, well, real quickly, let's grab this wood so that we can be able to make stuff that we might need. I've got this theory that I might be able to use boats to trap certain types of monsters in doorways and stuff, and I haven't actually tried it yet. But it seems like it's valid to me. So, there we go. Let's go ahead. Okay, we got enough now to actually craft a real awesome, excellent, actual thing here. So let's go ahead and get an axe. No, let's let's make a boat, just in case. I want to try this boat thing, and then if I do that, do I have enough to get the axe to? Okay, great, I do. 
Okay, cool. So, boat. I probably won't need food so urgently, because, like, for the most part, you don't get too hungry. It's just when you need to regenerate health that it really becomes a burden. Oh, hey, there's our exit room. Okay, so... So, like, if I put this boat here, any monster... Or, well, can't put it actually in the doorway. Good to know. Okay, so there's a zombie pigman coming toward me. Okay. He will get caught in that boat if he runs this way. So, in the meantime, I can clear these other rooms. Oh, bat's already active. Okay, oh, bat's very active. Okay, so... Keeping that in mind... Oh, so there's a wither skeleton there, too. Hmm. I don't hear the bat, so I might be okay for the moment. Let's go ahead and check to make sure we're actually on the outer walls here. Yes, on that side, and yes, on that side. Bat, 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 bat. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so that worked. Now, sometimes there can be more than one bat, so we can't be too... Uh, you know what? I'm just... Okay, so let's, let's figure out if this, this, this trap works. No, that, that trap does not work. Okay, now it works. Okay, so I successfully trapped a zombie pig man. That's actually a, an accomplishment. And this is a room where I will like almost certainly fall to my death if I'm not careful. I just want to find out if it's at the end. Okay, it is. More note blocks. That guy does not seem to see me. Uh oh. Dang it. Okay, okay, milk, 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 milk. Switch into chicken. Blocking off exits. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Okay, the fact that I saw a red carpet there makes me think that the exit room is right up there. Okay, great. So we need to replenish our health fully. Let's go ahead and get this... Uh, how's our armor? Okay, let's go ahead and fix our pick while our health regenerates. We're not doing too bad. We got... Well, we got two sticky bombs. We got a few lights. We got some blocks... Go ahead and grab some of these, just so we don't run out later. With my luck, if I break the ones under me, I'll hit a bat, so I'm not going to do that. And for all I know, there might be an additional bat here. I don't know if there's anything up there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to top that there, put this here, and of course... Whew, okay. Okay, so we made it past that guy. We're on level 5. My best run ever on this version... Uh, there's the bat. Has been to get to, to get 6. And that was on my laptop um, when I was just recording for fun. Or I wasn't recording, I was just playing for fun to get a sense of the new map before I actually recorded. Because it's easier to like record something and talk about it if you're like vaguely familiar with it. Okay. So that looks like a second bat in there. What was that noise? I heard like a bow and arrow noise. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put a note block here so the bat doesn't eat out the ground from under us. I think this means we're the top story and there's one story below us. I still don't have a good sense of the perspective on that type of thing. Oh, that's just all open space there. If I crouch on this, I will die. Won't I? That, I think that will kill me if I crouch right there. No, there's some wood there. Oh, but there's a witch. Okay. Okay. Well, oh, there is this guy. Hey, there's a good chance for me to show off the sticky bomb. Boom. Well, that didn't kill the blaze. Dang it. I thought that was going to be so cool. Okay. Well, anyway. And she's going to see us. We need to cover that up real quick. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to real quickly. I'm going to. Dang it. That's not a crafting bench. I'm going to real quickly craft a bunch of these stone bricks into stone brick slabs because I have a suspicion 
that the bats might only eat through normal stone bricks. They might not eat through stone brick slabs. So in that case, I'll be safer. And also, I can do this to mark that these are spaces that, like, have been previously broken. So that'll be helpful for my remembering, um, remembering of the map. Any monsters in this room? Baby zombies are, like, a terror once you get to the later levels of this. Last time I got to level 5, a baby zombie got me. And they can just sneak through those little holes, and then you're just done. Okay, was this room one I'd seen? Yeah, this is the uh, slime room. Okay. Grab some of this wood. What? Why isn't it working? I kind of want to build another one of those boats, because that, that seemed to actually work not as well, maybe, as I would... Oh, well, I can't build a boat with this much wood. Never mind. Next plan. Punch through walls until we find the exit. Hope that there's not a bat or something terrifying in here. Okay, that's definitely the upstairs, and there's nothing there. That's good. Let's hop here, just in case of bat action. We don't want to have a baseball situation on our hands. That would be foul. Three strikes and I'm dead. Okay, another room there. Any monsters? Looks clear. Don't crouch while I'm on top of this. I gotta remember that. That room... Is that a chest? No, that's just music blocks. Those might be valuable, but... Don't want to count on it. Okay. So let's determine if this is a good place to jump down or not. Yes. Is it a safe place? Like, is there any monsters here? No crazy stuff? Okay. Shift. Well, bat, bat, bat. Oh, that was a bad idea. That's a witch. Let's get on top of this. Okay, we're in a spider web. Make it so the witch can't come across here. Okay, so. This is why we have lights. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Anything of help? No chess, nothing. Okay, so we have very few note blocks left, except for the ones we're standing on. The bat is actively decaying the water above us, which is going to make this in some ways safer to fall through if we happen to fall, but I don't think I want to find out exactly how much safer. Let's go ahead and quickly break these strands. Hey, the water might keep the witch at bay. No, it won't. She's going to come this way. Okay, so. There's the bat, there's the bat. Okay. Let's get on to one of these. We kind of need to wait until he's done causing his mayhem. Dang it, block. Destroy. Why won't you break? If we can get the bat, that'll be a big boon for us. I'm just going to kind of put a lot of blocks right here. Is he still over here? Okay, so we're in a tall one. Doesn't seem too crazy wide. Okay, I'm thinking I'll use this crafting bench to make some wooden slabs. Because, like, that's going to be the best return on investment there. Okay, 12. It's not bad. I'm terrified to jump down there. Okay. Just gonna make our own little parkour puzzle here. Of course, I'm out of lights at this point, too. Okay, so there's a slime room above us. Let's go ahead and let the water down out of there, just in case. That makes it more likely we'll be able to escape if, uh... If the floor comes out below us. Actually, I could even, like, try and let the whole slime fall through. Because usually there's, like, a monster. Oh, dang it. That was my pick. Okay. So here we go. Zombie pigman over there. I don't think he can reach us, but... Switch to a new sword while we are, have the chance. Okay.
Hang it. No, 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 no. Don't want to go that way. I'm hearing breaking glass. That sounds terrifying. Okay, so we got some problems. Let's go ahead and smash some of this. Without suffocating. Without suffocating, we need to smash this. Come on, smash. No. Okay. So here we are, we made it to another room with no idea what's safe above us. Oh, hey, a chest. Axes, excellent. Or excellent, if you will. Um, let's go ahead and try some stone slabs here, just in case the, uh... Oh, man, more water damage. Okay. Well. I'm figuring I'll go ahead, try to cut across here. Worst case, the bats... Uh-oh, was that another witch throwing a potion? Dang it. Why can't I place a block there? Is that a glitch or something? Weird. Okay, well, I don't think that witch can get over here. And just in case she tries, we'll put that in her way. Now she can't see me to throw stuff. Chest room. Excellent. Zombie pigman. Not as excellent. Okay, can I reach that chest? Let's go ahead and put a block here. Milk and a sword. Okay, these are good things. Oh, did not think to look up. How safe is all this? Terrifying. Unilaterally terrifying. Okay, well, it looks like if I put a block here... Now, do not sneak. Jump. Dang it, I can't jump. Okay. Let's go ahead and check this room. Dang it, nothing. And over here. Plenty of water. Oh, this is just... Uh, oh, no, this is not the room I was in. Of course, now block my path. Wow, this is a tall place. Okay. Of course, it's hard to jump up much in here. Wow, this is a tall one. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay, so somehow I have killed myself from some sort of glitch with the teleporter. I don't know what happened there. But, you know what? That's one of the things about roguelikes. It's part of the game is learning the rules. So, anyway... Thank you guys for joining me for my third attempt at Absconded on the YouTube. I'm Joe Hills. If you want to play this game, you can find a link to DesiTM's Discord. He usually keeps the latest version pinned to the top of his Discord chat because he's still iterated and he doesn't have it on any big download sites yet. But anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.